My name Doughboy and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bass. Let you feed off, you not worthy. You not worthy. We do ops dirty, yes, sir. Ski. All right, so we got Doughboy off the porch with us today. Yes, sir. Ski. How you feeling today, bro? I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah, man. It's a, a long time coming, bro. So, yeah, man. definitely. We go way back. Way back, man. Yeah, so I appreciate yeah. you coming by. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, no problem, man. So, um, Cleveland, man. What was your childhood like growing up in Cleveland, man? man. That's your, that that's what made me who I am today. Like, like when people listen to my music and they and they hear what I'm talking about and shit. Like, I speak like that's my that's really my childhood. Like, yeah. like all this shit. Like these niggas, these niggas just start living like that. I'm telling you, these grown ass niggas, they just start living like that. I've been living like that. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I'm coming from Cleveland for real. Like I'm a real Cleveland nigga. Yeah, I ain't I ain't one of them. Like I'm him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no rap nigga or nothing like that. You yeah, you're from saying? the east side of the city, right? East Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, we are our own city, <laughs> inside the city. Okay. Nose Ave. Yeah. Nose Ave, that's right. Yeah, I had someone else on here. What was yeah, that? No Soto? Yeah. He had mentioned that too, man. And yeah, so how big was it for you to bring Future to Nose Avenue, man? Man, that's, a, that's probably the biggest thing that happened in the city. I don't care what nobody told about. <laughs> had Future posting an EC. Anyone just on those. We was on those, then we left. We was just going, and it was stopping any store. We just, you want to hop in? You, you like the way this look? Bet. I'm about to shoot right here at this store. I'm about to shoot at that store. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we were just all through EC period. Mm -hmm. Just the fact me being able to bring a person like Future to the hood is that that's that's something that's gonna go down in history forever. Like people can't do that. Yeah. People can't even go to their own hood, <laughs> let alone go to their hood and bring the biggest rapper in the world out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I could just imagine how inspiring and motivating that was for everyone yeah, that lived there, sure. man. They looking around like, man, all you got to do is look at the pictures and just look at everybody's <laughs> faces. Everybody. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. That was crazy. So at what age would you say you jumped off the porch? Man, I probably jumped off the porch and I was like, man, it depends on like what type of jumping off the porch. Like, because like since I was a kid, kid, like since I was even started going to school, like, I was always being bad. I was always fighting. I was always getting suspended. I was always getting expelled. By the time I say, if we're going to talk about really being on some street shit, like start, I was probably like 13, 12, 12, 13, when I start being around that type of shit, like really being like thugging. Yeah. As far as like, I was always a badass kid. When I was like 12, 13, that's when I really started being around gangster stuff though. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Did you have any older brothers or big homies out there? Uh-uh. I got I, my my big homies is my big brothers. Okay, I ain't never had like my I'm my only child. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you kind of just had to learn on your own then, huh? As uh -huh. you went. So that's that's why that's why that's why I was always that's probably why I was so bad too, for real, for real. Because it's like the people that I looked up to was my niggas in the streets. Yeah, for sure, man. And you went to prison for what three years? Yeah, I did like two years and eight months. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So talk about that time, because things were just starting to pop off for you. Uh-huh, and they took that shit right away from my dumb yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was like shit. I just ain't, I ain't learned quick enough. It was like, when I, I, I was doing what I was doing, and then I just ain't stopped when I was supposed to. But it was like, because I didn't care, because it was like, I didn't understand like the whole patience thing like, all right, bro, you got this going on. You got to stop and just wait. Mm -hmm. I'm still stuck in the mentality like, shit, bro. I ain't rich right now. So if I see something, you feel me? It got to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. So uh, opportunity presented itself. So, so <laughs> like, nah, I know better though. Like, so it's like, I wish, I'm, I'm, I wish I would, I wouldn't have did that, but I'm glad I did do that at the same time because I wouldn't think the way I think now, and I wouldn't be who I am today if mm -hmm. that didn't happen. So, yeah. yeah. Were you able to remain positive during those two years, eight months, or did you kind of yeah. beat yourself up at first? Yeah, no, it was it was it was positive for sure. But like, it was certain. Like, of course, I was in there thinking like, "Damn, bro, you dumb as fuck." Man, motherfuckers, make sure they remind me that you that I know I'm dumb as fuck. Like, there'd be times like we'd be it'd be on the late night future come on Jimmy Kimmel. 
Everybody, don't boy, you dumb as hell. Everybody on the they racks and shit. Why we all watching them and shit though? But it be shit like that. I be like, damn, I am though. Like, so you feel me? But it was like, shit, I made a joke out of it though. So. Yeah. Shit, I got through it. I knew shit. I got out there, so shit, I ain't tripping. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. I come home. Yeah. Did you execute that right away as soon as you came home? Because it looked like you took off. I got, I got right to work. I, I, <laughs> hey, I came home and I got right to it. Yeah. For sure. I had it. So I had to build this shit all the way right back up though. Like. Family, so it wasn't easy. Definitely wasn't easy. It was harder than I thought it was gonna be. I mm. tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, earlier today, man, I had to go back through some emails, man, and I saw you had yeah. emails in 2000. I still got the email in there yeah. too, man. You yeah. was wrapping so up right south side. So. I used to be on your ass. <laughs> yeah. God. I think you were 16 at the time too, man. So um, yeah. What had inspired you to start rapping back then? And I've been rapping my whole life though, but it's just like. Around that time is like when I really started taking it serious and when I really start doing something with it. But it was just like, I just always been a genius. Like, like my, even since I was a kid, like I just always, I'm like a, I'm like a, it's weird. I'm like a nerd though. Like, like I just always been smart as fuck. Like, like I'm like uncommonly smart. Like, like I, I, I do shit that, that's like impossible. Motherfucker be like, man, how you do it? And I'll be like, shit, I don't really know. For real though, like so even when I was a kid, bro, I didn't figure out how to record myself. I was eight years old. I would record myself on Windows Movie Maker. Oh, I discovered, nigga, you could put your headphones in the microphone plug and record yourself. I learned how to use Photoshop at a young age. Like I just always knew how to do everything, and I just like I just became a one-stop machine. Like hmm. so, it's like that's how I built my whole career. Like even you see how he was saying, like you email, but yeah, you're two, emailing. I ain't us. need no PR. <laughs> I was my own PR. I been in, I just always was on that shit. Like I wasn't playing though. Like mm-hmm. it's just cause I just seen what had to get done. Like I'm like, man, cause I don't want to be just no Cleveland rapper. So it's like I gotta learn how to how to take advantage of the internet and shit like that. Like so it's just I pay attention more than the average person. Mm-hmm. Like the average rapper, he ain't gonna pay attention to this person who run this blog. Like. Look, you know, I know Ziploc Mo personally. That's the homie. <laughs> the average rapper don't think that far to even trying to reach out and meet them kind of people. Yeah. Because they just so dumb. They just be like, shit, whatever. They just do the shit and then shit just be happening. Some people, a lot of people get lucky. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't a lucky person. I had to make my way and make this shit happen. Yeah. Real shit right there, man. Sure. Who'd you grow up listening to? Coochie, 50 Cent, <laughs> Lil Wayne. Those are my favorite rappers. Yeah. What you think of the verses the other night? Uh, that was funny as fuck. <laughs> that was the funniest shit ever. I swear to God, I love Gucci. Nigga, a gangster. Nigga, he on, hasn't changed. Nigga, on bullshit. I'm glad to see he hasn't. He's smoking on Pookie's on tonight. Oh, nigga, funny as hell. I'm like, <laughs> nigga, crazy. But it's just like, I knew Jeezy was going to win, though. Like, because it's politics. Yeah. So you feel me? I knew from the time, like even when I was hearing the songs that they was playing against each other, like, but Gucci did what he was supposed to do though. Like, that's why you Gucci. Because you you keep this shit gangster, like. So you playing all these these street ass songs. On, only the whole world don't know these because they not big radio singles and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like he playing shit like hold that thought. Like, shit, nigga, if you ain't come up like that, nigga, you ain't gonna even know what the fuck he playing right now. But shit, nigga, you touch my soul. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so you feel me? But that's what he was supposed to do. And I'm listening to Jeezy, he got some shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, damn. <laughs> you feel me though? So it's just like, I knew what was gonna happen. And then like Jeezy, like you feel me? Positivity gonna win every time because you got way more positive people in the world than you do negative people. True. So it's a lot of people who looking at go just like, oh my God, he disrespecting dead people. Shit, me and my niggas, we think that shit cute. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just different. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? But them people are way us, so. What'd you think of them performing the song together at the end? I mean, honestly, I knew it, it, it was like, it was, it was shocking. But I see a lot of people saying shit like, Oh, both them niggas, da 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 they tripping. But I mean, I don't think they tripping because it's not that big of a deal. Because it's like, all right, boom. Uh, I'm almost positive them niggas got a stupid ass bag for that. Oh, yeah. I can guarantee you them niggas got a dumb ass bag. You don't got to shake this nigga hand or nothing, bro. Just song come on, just do that bitch and get the fuck off the stage. Go get your money. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? So it's like people don't understand that. They just be like, oh, nigga, he da 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 Shut your dumb ass up, nigga. You would have did that shit too. But well, people don't be wanting to hear this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and if you win, you dumb as fuck. <laughs> so it's like, shit, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Might as well get the bag. Y'all could beef soon as, like, you literally could perform this song and go shoot at that nigga as soon as you get out the building, though. Like, you get what I'm saying, though? So it's like, y'all don't have to be friends. Mm-hmm. It's not y'all being like, oh, that's my homie. Perform that fucking stupid ass song, get the fuck out of the building, go shoot at the nigga outside. For all that matter. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, people just crazy. All right. Um, how'd you come up with this ad lib, man? Oh, really? This thing is taking off, though. Oh, you know what's so crazy? I've been doing, oh, said that's from like so long ago. I actually got that from my niggas. Like, really? Dead ass. Like, boom. I got an artist. He with me right now. His name Fifth Boy. Boom. He used to say it a lot back in the day. Then I got another nigga. He from my hood. His name Bravo. He used to say it too, but he didn't say, oh, really? He just would be like, really? Like the way I say, really? Okay. So it's like, I could bond the way they say it together, like, and then I create and made it a oh really thing, like it's crazy though, and I just always been saying it, and it's it's crazy how I just end up sticking like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got LeBron saying it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, how many people run up to you each day that you don't even know just saying it, man? All the, that's the man, but it's, so I didn't realize that people love that fucking ad lib that much. Like, cause I don't catch my, I catch myself in certain songs and I won't even say it. Yeah. But now I realize how much people love it. I can't do a song and I can't not say it. <laughs> like I feel like I have to. Like no boy, it's not a song unless you add an O'Reilly on it. Yeah. It's not finished. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think your boy's wearing the chain, but the chain, man, that yeah, shit is big O'Reilly. That yeah. shit is hard as fuck, man. So you know, paid homage to Ohio as uh-huh, well on it yeah. too. Yeah. Who it came up so with perfect. that idea? Was that yours or was it the jeweler? No, it wasn't a jeweler. Actually, it was my nigga Pooh idea. Okay. That was my merch. He actually was like, hey, we need to do the merch like this. Da, 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 da. Hmm. So the merch is the the way my chain look. That's the merch logo. Okay. So, you know, I went and got it made as a chain. Though. Yeah. No, that shit hard as fuck, man. Yeah. All right. So talk to us about your relationship with uh, Pluto. Like, that's, that's, my, that's my real brother. Like, like, that's like, like, you know, when you got a big brother and y'all just, it, like it's me and him so much we close, we even be like this sometimes like we be you feel me like he be on my ass like because pluto pluto won't feel me he just want me to be the biggest rapper in the fucking world like mm-hmm. so it's like he gonna stay on my ass and make sure i'm working as hard as i'm supposed to be working and shit like that and when i ain't doing something the right way well when he if he feel like it ain't right he gonna tell me like i feel like you should be doing this like this you need to be doing this and that and then i'll be like but I am doing that, but I'm doing it this way too. So it'd be like, we'd be, <laughs> we'd be just going back and forth and shit though. Like me and Pluto would be sitting in the room for hours and hours going back and forth. Like, <laughs> but it'd be like, shit, he future at the end of the day. So it's like, I know he know what he talking about. So it's like, it's just, I, I take, I take what he, like when he tell me stuff, I really listen though. And I really pay attention and I take it and I apply it to what I got going on and I make it make sense for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, me and him, we got a we got a real relationship. Like, like we love each other past this music shit. Like, even if I could, I could not blow up right now. You feel me? You still gonna love me? You know what I'm saying? So. Well, you already blew up. So. Shit. Yeah, but you feel me though? Like, but I could I could flop right now. Like, I could just fade off the face of Earth. I'm still gonna be top free band gang nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, and it seems like everyone at Free Band Gang, you know, it's like a family affair over there too. Yeah, we it's two not gang, just like y'all. a label. This you know is that's what it, it ain't. This the most family oriented business in the whole industry. I'm talking about from the staff down, like everybody is related in family. Like if you ain't from Kirkwood, you ain't Free Bands, except for me and like a couple other people. Like that shit. This the most family oriented company in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, so. Um, Everybody cousins and mamas and uncles and, and, and Maria. <laughs> what do you think of the music scene in Cleveland right now? I feel like the music scene about to go crazy. Like it's about to explode. Like that's why I'm just, you feel me? I'm just pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. You feel me? Because I'm the face of it right now. Like mm-hmm. I'm, no, I'm opening up the doors. Like I make people want to know what's up with Cleveland. Like I made you just want to ask me that question. Like, because I make Cleveland interesting. I make people want to be like, what's going on with that? Because I make this shit look good. Because I show people what the city really here for. 
Like, you feel me? We ain't never had that one look, like, like the streets. I'm the streets. So you get what I'm saying? I, I, I come from the real Cleveland. I'm really from Cleveland. Like, I got shed blood in that streets, tears in that streets. Like, lost my niggas in them streets. Took niggas in them streets. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm really him. So it's like, who better to speak for the city than me? And look at my face. I'm already, yeah. Handsome, gangster, <laughs> like shit. I'm the best space we could have, like, damn. But the city about to go crazy though, like, like I just be, I be just hoping everybody could just. It's so much bullshit that go on out there, and like nobody get along. Everybody beefing, like it's like, if you fuck with this nigga, then this nigga ain't gonna like you because they got this going on, and it's like nobody. You down there better just not be nobody friend. <laughs> or you gonna be in some bullshit like so it'd be like that's the only thing i'd be wishing could change but it's, it's so many politics but i can't even be biased because i'm the same way though like and when i see motherfuckers like because i got a lot of shit going on too like me and my niggas we got shit going on too so if i see this nigga fucking with this nigga i can't fuck with you like not even saying that i can't fuck with you but how could i be around you i can't trust you because i just seen you you friends with him so I don't trust you. Y'all was just, hee ha ha, I love you, this is my brother. Uh-uh, I can't be around you. Mm -hmm. How am I be around you? But I just I just keep everything to a distance though. Like I keep everything, you feel me? I deal with everything the right way. But it be like shit. I'm 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 a bigger person though, so on a certain occasion I could look past that. But as far as we about to be best friends, hanging with each other, no, I don't know about all that. But I I don't I don't mind like all right, boom, I see a nigga hanging with a nigga. All right, that's cool. But just don't think we about to be like this. We could be like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I want everybody to turn up, though. Like, even the niggas I'm beefing with. Like, I want them niggas to turn up with y'all little dirty asses. Like, <laughs> shit, like, go crazy. Shit, I ain't no hater. Yeah. How does it make you feel to be the face of the, you know, the music scene? Like you said, of this generation, man. Yeah. It's, it's been like, a while for Cleveland, man. Yeah, man, we needed this. We needed this, man, because they be sleeping on my city. It's really a great city, like. And people it just don't pay it attention. Like, LeBron James, like that's what everywhere I go, that's why all people be like, uh, what's in Cleveland, LeBron? Like that's all everybody say, they make jokes about it and shit like that. And he's from Akron. <laughs> and that's great, he not even from Cleveland. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it be like, shit though. I gotta, I'm gonna make sure they know though, like, that shit over with. Y'all gonna stop playing with my city because this ain't that. Yeah, real shit. So. Right. Demons are us, man. How's the feedback been so far? Amazing. People think I'm the rawest rapper in the world. Like I could just go search my name right now and get free some crazy ass tweets. Yeah. Like, got an album of the year. No boy the hardest nigga out right now. Like ain't nobody fucking with him. Like they got them think I'm better than Tupac or something. Like and this shit crazy. Cause I feel that way. That's how I see it. I'm the greatest ever to do this shit. Don't nobody fucking with me. Shit, I'm glad to see that the people receiving that the same way. Mm -hmm. yep. And it's like shit though. I'm just glad that it's, I'm, I'm starting to get the attention that I deserve though. Like now I'm dropping my projects. Now I'm, I'm topping the charts. Like I'm, I'm, I'm dropping the album. It's going top 10 Apple Music. I'm doing that. Like mm -hmm. out of every Apple, every artist in the world, I got a top album, like a top 10 album. Like I'm sitting up there, I'm next to fucking, I'm looking at the top, got 21 in Metro. You got motherfucking, fucking young boy pop smoke and niggas who stream like crazy. I'm sitting right next to these niggas and I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like this shit crazy though, like, but it's just like, shit, that's what a nigga work for. I mean, it's only just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. I'm about to drop again, shit. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I was like, man, he's not wasting no time. Dead ass serious. I'm not playing. Yeah, talk about the chemistry working with Southside, man. It's Southside, been, what, see, 10 Southside. years working together, right? Man, it's fun working with Southside because Southside is fried. Like that nigga, he like a, he a RBMG nigga. He with us, he like one of us. Like he a fucking bug out. So it's like, when you be around Southside, like he, like you, you would be like, man, this nigga make beats. Like, cause when you think of a producer, you, the niggas ain't, niggas don't be like that. Like them niggas be like, they be cool people though. That nigga, he, <laughs> he got a fucking problem, bro. This nigga just be <laughs> mad all day. I thought I had an attitude problem. 
that nigga be tripping. Bro, that nigga just yell at people all day. You want to fight, shoot all day. He walk around with big dumb ass guns on him. That nigga be tripping, bro. I be like, man, this nigga funny. But that's what make us click, though, like, because it just be like, feel me? Like, I feed off his energy and he feed off mine and shit, though. Like, you feel me? It's gangster shit going on at the end of the day. Like, that's my big brother. Like, we talk still right now, album on everything, every day. About anything though, like we not and anything but rap. <laughs> like we talk about any and everything but music. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? It's just like that's like my favorite producer to work with because it's it's deeper than that. Like I said, I've been fucking with Southside since back 2010? then. Two thousand ten. Yeah. Since back then. That email was a uh, Southside song. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. Damn, it's Southside did produce circle, that. Yeah. Southside did produce that. That's crazy. Back in two thousand ten. Yep. Yeah, and talk to us about your growth as an artist since back then to now. It's it's incredible, man, when you think about it. Yeah. My drips are impeccable right now. Like, the way I just walking on shit, I'd be like, damn, boy. I tell you, I got, I got superpowers right now. But this shit different. Dang, it's just like, I just know how music supposed to sound now. So like, I still do me. Like, I keep this shit gangster and shit, but I, I know how to put the drip on it, though. Like, it's the way I say shit just way different than what I used to say. Cause back then I'd just be like, nigga, da da da, da shoot you in your face, nigga, da, 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 da. just do it like you feel me, like straight to the point. But now I'm a, I'm a da da, da, da I'm a shoot you in the face, shit, I'm a drip on it, like I'ma say it, like how, like my my delivery is just is all the way there now. So that's what made my music just way better. Mm-hmm. And I master my voice. I know how to go up, down, play around. That come from being around a nigga like Future all the time. So oh, it's yeah. like, just put all that shit together, and it's just crazy. I see. I, I lost count of how many videos you dropped. It's been like six or seven. Man. The project's only been out like two weeks. Man. Yeah, I unloaded real quick. <laughs> I already had, because it's like we've been working on this shit for months and months and months. So, you feel me? I just was making sure, like, this time when I drop this project, I want to do it the right way. I want to make sure I got all the visuals to it. I don't want to drop the project, then go try to scramble and shoot up the videos and shit like that. Fuck that. Shit already about to be ready to go, nigga. We planning the video days before the album even come out. Like, boom, this coming out that day, that day, that day, that day. Boom, and I still ain't done. Got some more shit about to drop. So you feel me, though, that shit about to, yeah, I'm about, and I'm about to drop again. I'm about to go shoot some more videos <laughs> for some new shit that ain't even out. Just drop that shit. Yeah. Then drop another project. Then I'm dropping another one. Like, watch. Yeah, Sersky, this one's going crazy right now, man. Dang it. Did you expect that one to go up? I knew exactly what it was about to do. For sure. I knew exactly what it was going to do. This shit, everything I do is premeditated. I ain't going to lie. That's how I've always been my whole career. I premeditate everything. Like, because it's like I know how to, it's like I got this shit down to a science. It's like, you know, if I do this and this and this, this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. I know how to do this shit now. So it's like I got the formula. <laughs> so I'm not going to lose. You're like an OG in the game, yet still so young. It's crazy, man. These niggas need to hire me, man. <laughs> and he did go, two years. Somebody need prison. to let me in their motherfucking label. Is that what you watch want? When it's all said and done, watch. Every going, I'm be watch. Is that what you want? Watch. Executive job? I'm be a man. What? Watch me. I tell you. <laughs> I ask my whole staff at Epic about Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> but that nigga different. Yeah. All right. You caused some controversy. I don't even know if it's controversy, but you said you wanted to collab with a Detroit artist. And then you had to kind of, you know, you made another tweet or actually a video saying, you ain't doing shit if it doesn't benefit you. Can you clarify why you had to do that? (laughs) Look, for real, because it was like, when I I posted that, it was like, shit, I want to do a a, a tape with a Detroit artist, da 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 da. A lot of people, I saw people on Twitter, like from my city, just saying like weird shit, like, why you don't go do a, a tape with a nigga from Cleveland? Well, look here, let me explain to you why I'm not about to do a tape with a nigga from Cleveland. With the way y'all saying it, like, and I don't even want to seem like no asshole or nothing like that, but I really want you to, let's be realistic here. All right, boom. I'm coming off a top 10 album in the world, right? I'm trying to keep going up. I ain't trying to stop and turn around and go get a nigga be like, hey, I don't even like you for real, but I want to do this tape with you just because I got to put on for my city. I put on my f- for my city in other ways. And I do, and you should appreciate the way that I do. 
A nigga can never say, Doughboy don't put on for the city. Yes, the fuck I do, because I'm the reason the world paying us. I'm him. So it's like, a nigga can't never say that. But people got the wrong idea when I said I want to collab with a Detroit artist. I guess they was thinking I was talking about going to get a local artist from Detroit. No, I'm talking about somebody who just like me. Like, we, it got to make sense, because I'm trying to keep going up, not stop, turn around, and go backwards. Like, so I just dropped a top 10 album, now I'm trying to drop a top 5 album. Then drop a number one album. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, people just be so much in their feelings. It be like, stop playing with me because you know I'm not even the one. Don't play with me because I see you saying this sneaky shit. Now, when I make somebody do something to you, I'm going to be tripping. So it's like, why are you playing with me? So I said that. That's why I said it. And stop playing with me because I will smack you. That's why I said that at the end of the video because I was talking to everybody who I saw say some sneaky shit. If you said some sneaky shit, I saw you say that. And I'm going to hold it against you. Don't talk to me next time I see you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, but it's like people just get the wrong idea. People so selfish and like, they just want a nigga to be like, pick me, pick me, help me. <laughs> nigga, help your fucking self. Fuck you talking about? And before, and honestly, if I was to do like a, a tape with an artist from Cleveland, I'm going to do it with one of my niggas first. A nigga that's with me. Like, so like people just don't, I'll be like, bro, y'all unrealistic. Because if you was me, you wouldn't even talk to me. Like, if I was an artist on the lower level and you was Doughboy, you wouldn't even talk to me. I still talk to everybody and still be post everybody shit. I do all that shit. Like, I still show love. You feel me? But that's just because the type of person I am, though. Niggas ain't built like me. So, that's why I said that, though. But <laughs> no, I got you, man. That. But did you put any thought into the Detroit artists you would want to work with, or did you get any good ideas? From? It's one I've been going crazy with. Babyface? <laughs> Babyface hard as fuck, ain't he? He is, man. <laughs> 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 well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what else coming up, man? You said you about to drop again. You got a title picked out, or... Keeping it under wraps for now? Or? Um, I got a few options. They crazy, too. I don't want to say. I ain't going to say it too early. Okay. Yeah. Will it drop this year or will it be top of next year? Like my album album? I'm going to drop it by the top of next year. But that that project might come up before this year. I don't know. I'm trying to make it my mind. The Detroit project. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Who else you been cooking up with, either producer wise? Or, you had so many features on this demon art. Right? It was like yeah. a who's who of rap, man. Yeah, insane. I pretty much got a song with everybody in the industry. <laughs> like, yeah, everyone fucks still, with dough, man. It's still going like, I got some shit that's about to come out on somebody's album. He probably like, literally probably like the biggest artist in the world. Like one of, like if he not one of them, he definitely gonna be, he mentioned in the top three biggest artists in the world. Uh, like arguably, like. And it's going to be so left field. People are going to be like, man, what the fuck? How that happen? So, and then I got other big artists who said I'm going to be a part of their projects and shit. Like, people been getting me on features and shit like that. So, yeah. but lately, I've been, I've been working on my album like this whole week. Like, I'm about to leave, this, leave here and go to the studio. Like, okay. But I've been, I've been just locking in with all the biggest producers. Like, even just like my last tape, I locked in with Southside and got all the biggest artists. This album. Done about do that bitch by myself and do all the biggest producers. Like I just went crazy with Zaytoven. Um, I've been going crazy with Sunny Digital. I've been going crazy with Tay Keith. Like shit like that though. Yeah. So it's like Jetson, motherfucker, like all of them. <laughs> Everybody, if you somebody in the producer world, you're gonna be on there. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Any shout outs so, before we wrap it up? Shout out to my motherfucking gang, nigga, bro, that money gang, nigga. Nose ass shit. Shout out to the whole Cleveland nigga, East Cleveland, be exact. You did with the fuck I'm saying, free band game. Shout out to my ops, too. I can't let you fuck, you not worthy. Not worthy. We do ops dirty, yes, sir, ski. Bandit trying to find.